Whew. It's cool outside, guys. So, no flea market. We're going to check out some thrift stores, Klingo Winkles in 2019. Let's see if we still got it, if we can find some really cheap games and other cool stuff. Let's go. DVDs and video games. Let's see what they have. Oh, I hate it when they put DVDs in green cases. Always get fooled by that. Um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Pretty nice game for only 2 euros. Now, well, it's actually 1 euro and 95 cents, but I'm gonna say 2 euros. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, Hitman Blood Money, 2 euros. Ooh, Ratchet and Clank, 2 euros. Jax, 2 euros. Some pretty nice games here. Really, 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 really can't complain here. The Getaway Black Monday, two euros. FIFA Street. Oh uh, well, all right, it's a street version. So, The Hobbit, also an underrated game, two euros. And oh, here we go, some Xbox games, Freedom Fighters and Snowblinds, two euros each. Well, 1 euro 95, but I like saying 2 euros. <laughs> uh, what else do they have here? Um, Alright, these are some of the lesser games, some wrestling games, not really interested in that. Oh, and King Kong, Peter Jackson's King Kong, that's a hidden gem. Really fun game, fun action game. Hey man, what's your feel over this kringloop? Ooh, here we go. Some handhelds on the counter. Two brick games that I already own, and one of them has some screen damage. And Space Invaders. And there's another handheld over there. Let's check that one out. Ah, uh, just a common Sudoku game, so let's put that back. Let's check out the Space Invaders game. I really, really like it. I like the artwork on it. I like the shape of this handheld. I want it. Let's hope that they're not asking a full retail price on this one. Space Invaders. I really doubt that it's an official Space Invaders handout, but it looks cool nonetheless. Sadly, you can't hear it, but the lady behind the counter was only asking one euro for that handheld, so I picked it up. Ooh, a Panasonic GameCube right here. Oh no, it looks like it, but it isn't the Panasonic GameCube. And here we have a PlayStation 2 with three controllers and two memory cards. Let's see if there is a game inside here. Nope, sadly there isn't a game inside. That's a power tip right here. Always check the inside of a console if there is a game inside. Do it with an NES, do it with a PlayStation, do it with a Game Boy. And what do we have here? Uh, 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 just one of those Wii clone consoles. You see these more and more at thrift stores. They're asking 10 euros for it. That's not a terrible price. If you want to do some kind of YouTube video uh, of it, well, it's possible. And here we have William Shatner. <laughs> I never heard of Tech War before. Uh, William Shatner, I, the first thing that comes to mind, Star Trek, of course, Star Trek. And when I look at the uh, screenshots right here of the game, it looks like a regular shooter. Looks kind of interesting, so I'll have to do my homework and check out, uh, yeah, Tech War. You just saw Diablo 2 and a Diablo 2 expansion pack. The expansion pack was sealed. The PC games in this thrift store are 25 cents. So I'm tempted to pick all of these games up, but mm, no, I'm, I'm sticking with the two Diablo games for now. I'm gonna play them, gonna check them out. And if they're interesting enough, I might pick up the Diablo game for the Nintendo Switch. Who knows? This Half-Life game was sadly missing one of the discs. 
And we have another, the first Diablo game behind it. And for some awkward reason, I didn't pick up that copy. Hmm. Note to self, first thing in the morning, head back to the thrift store and pick up Diablo for the PC. Everybody is dumping DVDs nowadays, but check out the number of DVD boxes that this thrift store has. And people, DVD boxes, DVD sets are still worth it in my opinion. Sadly, this thrift store is a little bit overpriced. Otherwise, I would have had a field day. And here we have a Barbie car, or I think it's a Barbie car. It might be a Brad's car. And that's not really interesting to me, but here we have the orange beast that is invading every thrift store nowadays. The VTech V-Smile uh, console, yeah, with a lot of Disney games. And to be completely honest, for small children, it is a very nice and learning, uh, learning console. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. Here we have another V-Smile console after we've checked out the other toys and vintage stuff that the thrift store thinks is worth money. The VTech, I don't know what it is. It's it's a different kind of VTech console. Maybe it's a prototype. I don't know. It might it be Barbie dolls. Yeah. No. Let's move on. Oh, check out Paddington. Please take care of this bear. I will, lady. I will. I will take this Paddington bear with me. This plush. It's only 3 euros and 95 cents, so I don't know. Seems like a collectible thing. I will take care of it. This is one of those thrift store items that makes me want to say, what the? I mean, uh, a cake decoration set of Skyliners? Who thinks of this stuff? And who needs it? Who buys it? I'm not. Let's Hold on. Here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before we move on to the board games, we're going to check out the toy section of the thrift store. Because there are some Action Man figures here. Yeah, that's, that's his name, right? The Action Man. Wasn't really of that generation. Anyway, there are some interesting toys here. And it's it's not that. And oh my god, that's that noise is so annoying. Some kid behind me is really making a mock. I'm going to punch him in the face in a second. Hold on, hold on. No, no, I'm just messing with you guys. I thought this was a vintage G.I. Joe for a second, but that's not the case. And then I saw this. A complete bag full of Skylanders. Check it out. Yeah, uh, this is something else. Um, <laughs> let's move that aside. Here, here we, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, here it was. A complete bag of Skylanders for only 3 euros and 95 cents. And there were 13 Skylanders in this bag. And... I was missing a lot of the first uh, generation Skylanders and there were six of them in here that I still needed for <coughs> that the kids still needed for their collection so um, that was a nice pickup here we have a Lego racing board game and another Skylander thing seems like there is a Skylanders uh, movement going on or I don't know what's what's going on here oh some uh, plush toys I picked up a couple of them Push toys and oh my check this out Pac-Man push toy amazing these are I believe they are 20 or 25 euros at most uh, video game stores like net game or something like that and even Aliexpress has them for like 15 yeah. euros or something like uh, in insane pickup that Pac-Man with three other push toys only one euro damn Then all of a sudden, Baymon walks up to me and he's like, Can I get one of those plush toys for my dog so it can chew those things up? No, Baymon. No. These are great plush toys. They're not for your dog. So let's move on. And then I see this and Baymon's like, This is good for my dog. I'm like, no, this is Elf. <laughs> your dog is not going to chew on Elf. <laughs> but now that I look at it, I think this is a fake, re a retro fake plush toy of elf it's, wow it's a big one Baymon this is for your dog this is for Baymon's dog picking it up period and we also have some glasses here and I really like the Pepsi and Coca-Cola retro glasses 
There are two of them here. I don't like the sun version, but these ice cubes are pretty damn awesome. There's a board game of Odd Hello. For some awkward reason, I only thought that was a video game. I mean, Odd Hello was a game for the NES, and yeah, it's, it's one of those PC games that you see everywhere, but all right, it's a board game, whatever. Sadly, no Hero Quest here, but an interesting DuckTales uh, stamp collection. I already own one of these, but this seems like an updated version. There are some stamps in here that I don't own. It's it's a little bit too pricey to pick it up, but nonetheless, very interesting to see it here in this thrift store. And that about wraps it up, I think, for this episode. So um, let's stick around, guys. Just stick around here, and I will show you guys what I picked up. And this is one of the things that I didn't pick up. This was two euros, a big book from Warhammer, but I don't think that it's really that interesting or yeah i don't know not for me so let's head on over to the pickups and thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe So untrue Tell me what will I do